Okay, good afternoon friends. We are here to discuss a little bit about the raindrop technique. And I have my little uh, helper here, Hannah Stutzman. And my name is Tracy Miller. And uh, Hannah Stutzman is Sarah Stutzman Miller's daughter, my granddaughter. And we are going to just share some information about the raindrop technique. Raindrop technique is not a massage like we are used to. It is more of a technique that targets the central nervous system, and we use the oils to do that. Yeah, come on up here. So we're going to just show you what all the different oils are. There's nine different oils. We have peppermint. We have wintergreen. We have we have. Let's see. We have thyme. We have aroma seeds. We have cypress. We have oregano. We have marjoram. We have basil and we have valor. Now the aroma seas is an oil that comes in the raindrop kit that we don't actually raindrop on the spine. Aroma seas is used more for actually um, tight muscles that we find when we're while we're doing the raindrop technique. Um, and then we do a little massage um, with the aroma seas. So we are going to just do a little fast track demo explaining what raindrop technique is. So that's why I need my little volunteer here, Hannah. So we're gonna come over here to the door, to the window, and quickly show you how we do this. We start by measuring. Move over here, Hannah. Put your heels against. We just took a box. This is how we were trained in care. It's just a simple way to measure. We take a box and we just put it right where her, yep, yeah, right there. And then we put a piece of paper here. And we come back here later to see how much her spine elongated. You often hear people say what, that they grow. Hannah, come here, honey. They grow during, they grow, they're taller after the raindrop. You don't actually grow. You, your spine elongates from all the uh, different techniques that we use to work the oils into the spine. So hop up here, hon. So we're going to get started here. I'm going to start with, okay, Hannah, you need to remove your shirt. We just have to remove the shirt. You can keep all your other clothes on when you come to get a raindrop. And I'm just going to cover her. And we are going to start by placing, we use Valor first. And Valor is the oil that starts the, uh, Electrical current, it's the oil that balances energy in the body. So we put a little Valor on, on each hand, rub it in, and just hands on the shoulders until we feel the pulse. When I feel the pulse in Hannah's shoulders, then I come down, and again, using the raindrop, come down to the other side, at her feet, same thing. I just grab a hold of her feet until I feel her pulse. And after I feel her pulse, then we start using, then we start Vitaflexing the oils into the Vitaflex points of the feet. Okay, Hannah, we're gonna slide you down here. So, how we do that, I'm just gonna show you quickly. Every oil, they go on in layers, and we Vitaflex the, uh, the feet. So when we do that, um, we just go down, and we just work the oils in, starting at the heel, and it's the pad, tip, nail. So the pad is the, starts the, the charge, tip is the fire, the, the uh, charge, and to release the charge, and it's all electrical. And the um, oils, each oil that goes into the spine targets a different body system, which is all the things that I will explain to you if you schedule and when you schedule a raindrop technique. There's many things that we will discuss that cannot be discussed uh, because of compliancy. So after I work all the oils and we come over to the other side, we do the other foot, same thing, pad, tip, nail. This is the, how it goes, pad, tip, nail, pad, tip, nail, pad, tip, nail. And we just work those oils in. Then we come back 
do the next oil. So all the oils are put on the feet, on each foot. Then we come up, and I have my little volunteer here. Turn over, and then we will work on the back. Now, because she is a little girl, I will use, and children can have this done. I will use the V6 oil, and I will coat her back with the V6 oil. So the absorption of all the essential oils will be a little bit slower, um, so that she can uh, tolerate a little bit more. She does have a little more sensitive skin. So she's had this done before, and she loved it, and she didn't have any issues with, uh, with, it, with anything bothering her. So then we go down the list again, using the oils again. We start again with Valor. Valor is the first oil that we use. And then we have, we use Valor, and then we use, hold on a second, let me just double check. Yes, then we use, yes, Oregano and Thyme. So they get dropped on. We start at the base of the spine, and this is why it's called raindrop, and we just drop six inches. We hold the oil six inches above the spine, and we drop it on. And then we start with a series of finger techniques. We, we do a feathering technique, and each one gets a little bit longer. It's very relaxing. And then that goes in that way. And then we do a feathering technique with each oil that goes down the side. We're working the oils into everywhere down the sides. Same thing. Because you have different nerves that go out yep. all it's different all directions. All different nerves, different directions. And these nerves, this is the electrical system is carrying these oils to specific areas of the body. Each oil, again, targets a specific body system. So then after we do that, then there's other, there's a few other um, things that we do with our fingers, our hands, and we do the, the, uh, working the fingers up the spine. This is called the saw maneuver. And we just kind of work, honey, lay down, are you okay? Good. We just kind of use this this way. We're working the oils right into the lymph nodes, like the lymph nodes are on either side of the spine. So we're working them up, up through there. And then there's another one we do where we just kind of like grab a hold of the spine cup our hands over the spine and we're just literally stretching and shaking and it's really relaxing it feels really good so this is the part that almost resembles a massage because we have a lot of uh, putting hands on and just working and you can see why that would elongate the spine because we're stretching you okay Hannah and obviously every every oil is going on while this is happening. So these are just the the techniques. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the oils at this point, every oil is layered into your spine when I start all of these additional uh, things with my hands. So after that is finished, after we work all that in, oh, and then there's this really just great, it's called the uh, Indian rub. And we just rub that, rub the back like that, and everyone loves that. We use, uh, after we get all the oils in, we use Ortho Ease, and we put the Ortho Ease on the back, and we just rub, 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 rub them all in, and just keep rubbing them all in, and it kind of just keeps driving those oils all the way in. Also, you want to shower before you come for a raindrop technique because I advise people that get it, they really don't want to shower. You want to try not to shower for at least 24 hours, maybe two days, because all this wonderful stuff is on your back, on your skin, in your body. Just let it do its job. Just let it work. And you smell so good. You don't want to wash it off. So when that's finished, then we put a hot compress on their back. We kind of just take a towel, put some really hot water on it, warm it up, and we just fold it 
and just lay it across right down the spine from the tip of from the uh, tailbone all the way up to the base of the neck and then we take another towel and we fold it over and we just let that hot towel on there we let them we let them cook <laughs> and then sometimes I just rub their back to rub that heat all in there and we just let them sit here and just relax for about 10 minutes 15 minutes and then we come back in and we remove all of that and we measure them again. They go right back to the same spot where we started and generally average is at least an inch and a half, at least a half an inch, I'm sorry. When I had my first raindrop, my spine had elongated an inch and a half. And let me tell you, I had energy that was incredible for probably 24 to 48 hours because that all of that was released in my back and energy could flow. I didn't even know that was a side effect, but it was a, such a positive side effect of the raindrop technique. So yeah, so that's pretty much just a fast track demo of what to expect if you come to have a raindrop technique. And I will just go over so many more things that these oils do and, and any questions you have, I would love to answer for you. So that's, that's it.